Hi, Beverly Monocle here. Thank you for stopping by. I did a couple of videos recently on branding yourself, and I've gotten some great comments about it. But one thing I got to thinking about was in those videos, I talked about branding yourself and your niche or whatever it is you're passionate about. But some people have no idea what their niche is or what their passion is. So I did some studying on this, and I found that 75% of the world doesn't really know what their true passion is. Some articles said it's as high as 90%. Clearly, almost everyone seems to not be doing what they were meant to do. You know, this is an eye-opener because doing what we really love is absolutely necessary if we're going to be truly happy. Finding your true passion is a sim isn't it always as simple as it seems. Some people yeah, they have no problem finding it. It's real easy. But I have some questions that I'm going to ask you that I hope that if you haven't found your true passion will guide you towards finding it so you can figure out exactly what you were born to do. First question is, what puts a smile on your face? You know, whenever you do it, whenever you encounter it, this is a, if it makes you happy, this is a sign that it might be something you're passionate about. Does it bring you peace when you do it? Peace brings happiness. Don't you agree? And happiness could be your passion. That's something to think about. What do you find that's easy for you to do? Usually what we find easy to do is related to what we're passionate about. So assess everything that you do. Whatever it is that you do, do you find that it's really a lot of fun to do? Is it easy for you to do? That might be your passion. Some people have taken their passion like skateboarding or dancing or card playing and have made this a full-fledged career. Remember that you can make a career out of anything you're passionate about. What sparks your creativity? Now, you've got to think about this. If you're anything in your life where you seem to always expand its horizons, you come up with new and fun things to do in that particular niche and it's exciting to you, this may be your passion. Whatever makes you creative is probably something that you're very passionate about and that, I really believe that. What would you do for free if money were no object? If this society, you know, we're kind of ruled by the almighty dollar. But if you could do something and not get paid for it and be happy, that's a sign that that's your passion too. I truly believe that if you follow what you're passionate about without thinking about, is this going to make you rich, you'll find that you'll be successful at it. Doing what you have a passion for brings out your best, and this leads to greatness. Do you think that the most successful people in the world got to where they were just because they wanted to be rich? I don't think so. I think they are so passionate about what they want to do and their immense success was just a byproduct of that dedication. So think about something that you would just love to do whether you got paid or not. And I believe that will lead you to what you're passionate about. What do you like to just talk about? What brings a smile to your face, a light to your eyes when you talk about it? I suggest you ask your friends what they believe you like to talk about the most. Ask them what topic makes your eyes brighten up and changes your entire behavior. Your friends can see the reaction in your face that you can't when you're really talking about something you're passionate about. Try it out. It's a very insightful exercise and one that can direct you closer to figuring out what your passion is. Now, what makes you unafraid of failure? That's a good question to think about. When we do what we are passionate about, we are totally confident in our abilities to succeed at it. We don't worry about being a failure at it. Think about something you feel you must do, and that failure is not even a concern of yours because the mere act of doing that thing like in the journey that you take, in the destination, it's all wrapped up in one. This may very well be your passion. What would you regret having never tried? If you got to the end of your life and there was something you never got to do and you had just deep regrets about it, 
that wouldn't be a good thing. So that's why finding your passion and following it is so important. Important. Living your life so that you don't have any regrets. That's important. So finding your passion, doing what you need to do to find it, and then branding yourself on that passion, doing what it takes to succeed, and it makes you happy when you're doing it. I think that is how you can find your passion and your niche. I hope this helped. What I would really appreciate is comments about this video. Tell me if you agree with what I said, or even if you didn't. It's okay. I like hearing back from my friends. So a comment below would be greatly appreciated. Come back again. I'll be working on more videos just for you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.